Let's work on question two in this video. So we're having here a probit regression and we're regressing the probability that someone is cycling uh, to university based on the age, based on the gender, weight and an interaction turnover here. Why is the marginal effect of age not the same for each person? So let's see. First of all, when we're dealing with probit, what we're regressing, what we're estimating is a certain probability from the Z distribution. So we're going to have a probability that Z is less than or equal to a certain number. That certain number is based on the regression, is based on the result that we're going to estimate from this data. Now, recall that the Z distribution is symmetrical around the mean of zero, meaning that if we increase the Z value, if we increase the Z value marginally, because that's the question, why is the marginal effect of age not the same for each person? So keeping everything else equal, if we increase age by one unit, if we increase age by one unit, then we know that the Z coefficient, sorry, the Z value is gonna increase by 0 0.035. But that's just the Z value. The probability of having such a result is going to increase differently because notice, let's say that's the initial Z value. We increase it due to age. So we increase to Z2. This is the marginal increase. This is the proportion that increases. This is how more likely it is for someone to cycle to university. But notice when we go from Z2 to Z3. So we're increasing Z marginally due to age one more time. And look how much it increases the probability, very little. This proportion, visually and graphically, we can see that it's lower than this one, meaning that the probability of someone cycling going, let's say, from an age of 19 to 20 increases less than it increases from 18 to 19. That's the idea. So that's why this effect is not the same for every person. At different age categories, we're going to have different marginal effects. And that's how we reason it based on this distribution. Because again, we're regressing probabilities. And these probabilities, this proportion has a different shape along the curve. Hope this all makes sense. And we are done.